Hey guys, this is Ilya Miguel here from Toy Quest 101. And welcome to another episode of That Geek Statue Show. On this episode, we're going to be unboxing the premiere collection statue of Moon Knight. And that episode's going to start right now. now. Welcome back to this episode of That Geek Statue Show right here on Toy Quest 101. Now before we start, we're going to remind you guys to subscribe to Toy Quest 101 and don't forget to hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any toy reviews, statue unboxings, or any celebrity guests that might pop up on our show. Now I'm so excited because we all love the series Moon Knight on Disney+. Plus. We just got done watching all of it. New series are coming out now, but Moon Knight and Mark Spector was such a hit and we partnered up with our friends Diamond Select to bring you their newest premiere collection statue of Moon Knight and we're going to be unboxing that today. Now, let's start with the box. The box is simple. It's a black Diamond Select box, but you do see the statue in the front as it shows the picture of it both on the side and it has a little bio of Moon Knight and the character Mark Spector. Now this is limited to 3,000 pieces and we got one of them so hurry up if you want to get yours. Look at the link in the bio so you can see all of Diamond Select's websites and where you can find this amazing statue that we're about to about unbox right now. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, guys, we just unboxed the Premier Collection statue of Moon Knight, and he is looking magnificent on our turntable. But the first thing out of the box, Yana, what is it? This is a COA. It made 3,000 of these, and the number we have is 1,747. That's right. Now, all of Diamond Select statues come with the COA, so it's really good to have. These are limited to 3,000. So again, take a look at the link in the bio after the video so you guys can go ahead on their website and purchase one of these for yourself. Now this statue is about 14 inches tall and I absolutely love it so far. I love his pose and everything, but Ileana, why don't you tell us about the statue? Um, I love that he's on top of this building and I love that um, you can see that the moon god Kondru. I mean, I love the painting application. I think it's really cool. That's right. Now I was a little worried because on the picture of the statue, Moon Knight looked a little dark, and as we all know, Moon Knight loves to wear white because he wants to honor the moon god himself, Kanchu, and he wants his enemies to know that he's coming. Unlike other superheroes that they do hide in the dark, he wants everybody to see him coming with his white costume. So I absolutely love that it wasn't as dark as it was on the box, but it isn't also super white. So I love that they made it a little distorted with the black and white. And I absolutely love the application that they did on the paint job of this statue. And I think that's what stands out the most besides the base. Now let's talk about the base. So it looks like it's an Egyptian base. And like Iliana says, it does have the moon god Khonshu in the front, which I thought that was pretty cool. And it has some uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics here on the side and stuff, which is really neat. I also love his pose, right? He's on the building, he's ready to attack, and I absolutely love it. Now, we also did see uh, Mark Spector in the series himself, so Moon Knight has been such a great character to come out in the Marvel Universe. He's obviously an old comic book superhero, but a lot of people weren't really used to him or knew who he was until the series came out, and now he has been super popular. So let's talk about the cape. The cape is pretty cool because he's holding on to it on one side and it is flowing to the side on the left, which I thought was cool. And again, the sculpt is really good and the paint application showing the shadowing effects and showing all the different uh, grooves in the cape and his hood is really, really neat. It's almost like a faded statue, which I absolutely love. Now his portrait is really cool. You see uh, his eyes are really nice. They're nice and blue. I love that the moon is super white on his chest because after all, he is the Moon Knight, right? Yeah. He is the warrior of the moon uh, after Kanchu who picked him to be uh, his disciple. And I thought that was really cool about this statue. Yeah, now what else do you like about it? 
I mean, I love the details of his cape once again. I mean, I love the light blue, the dark blue, the black and white. I mean, I think this statue is really amazing. I think so too. It's a really cool one to have for your collection, but that's about it. I mean, I absolutely love it. Like I said before, Diamond Select has been stepping up their game. This is the premier collection statue of Moon Knight. They only made 3,000 of these. It's about 14 inches tall, and it's an absolute cool piece for the price. I think the details for the price really, really do matter. And again, this is very affordable. It's not one like those really high-end statues that are super, super expensive. So what you get for the price, I think it's a really well done job. So Yana, why don't you tell everybody where they can find us? You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. And don't forget to subscribe to Toy Quest 101. Now we're gonna leave all the links in the bio again so you guys can check out our friends over at Diamond Select and get this statue for yourself. And we'll see you on another episode of That Geek Statue Show right here on Toy Quest 101. Bye guys. Bye.